away they go. Third up from the bottom, Elise Erland from Norway. In the middle there is Ost Ostrup from Denmark. Extremely well, but she's gone to Milova. It's Hostrup's going to be squeezed out. It's going to get very, very tight. Hostrup holds her place. Cinco doesn't make it in. To the right of Cinco is... Six at the front now. The Germans, and here's your lead group. Minus Bethune from Great Britain. He did well to stay for a lap and a half, but now on her own and falling back to that second group. So Chepe leads. Hostrup in the blue and white boat. Milova, red, white and blue on the far side. Portage number one, we'll see what everyone's got. So Hockley and Milova go right. Chepe in the white boat, first to rise. Hostrup, a late rise for the green boat of Jade Wilson takes her back to Hannah Scott and we could have a four boat front group here. Hockley going through the uh, seconding lane, quickly back into the mainstream. We could have a three boat front group here. And looking to run deep, let's see what works out. So Czech, Hungary, South Africa, Denmark just getting in a boat now. Wilson of South Africa, bit slow on the get out and the get in. It's three away and Milova is leaving there with some intent to make this three, the three medalists. That was actually the second group coming in. This is the first group, obviously. Milova, Chepe and Hockley. It's good news for the South Africans. You rarely see South Africans fade relative to the others in the second half. That, that's one thing they seem to be very good at in that group yeah, that that's can a close that gap. That's, that's a, a fair, fair gap. Call. That's a fair call. It's, it's going, there's the three of them together. Hockley's now in the yellow boat in the centre taking up the pull. I think Hockley's going to find herself increasingly more frequently at the front. Second group just behind. Flip-flops back, backwards and forwards. So when I first came in as a youngster, the hardcore marathoners were the on and honours, like like your Mads Pedersons now. Flat box it for two then, hours. So then the next generation comes along with Busto and that gang who upped the average speed to a point that harmed the people who could do the fast bits. Flip flops and between the fast and the endurance. And the endurance, uh, the average speed endurance goes up and up and up every time you have that flip flop, as does yeah, then you, you, someone like Pimenta will be the next one who comes in, not Pimenta himself necessarily, but someone like Pimenta who can just sit with someone like Pedersen. I think they could close oh. down, and they are going to close down that group in front, and it's going to be Cinco that does that, I think. Cinco and Toledo, the two quality paddlers in oh, this profile. group. Uh, and that serves as a huge inspiration for youngsters around her and the yeah, next that's part of our job, isn't it, to, going right. to make this entertaining enough to make it visible oh, oh, slow out of her boat she was bit. like that on the last one too but so looking ominous though for them that Chepe is quickest out Chepe and, and is, runs is well. looking the act to beat here yeah. to be honest and we're heading into the sharp end of this under 23 women's K1 race check rudder on the Not sand the there a little bit. there's a chance for Hockley to get round is this a bit of an attempt Chep from Chepe. Chepe certainly an attempt to make the others work hard it's She's a long way down on the lead three, though, who are not going to be challenged for the medals. They just have to decide which one's which. It's going to be decided in the next 10, 15 minutes. Less, well, less than that, 10 minutes. Oh, and pedals down again from Milova looking from tired. Milova, and that's the second time she's done that in the last couple of minutes. Chepe leads Milova. And Hockley into what is going to be a decisive portage. Chepe looking the stronger of the two. Chepe early takeout. She's first. Oh, oh my word. half stumble. Recovers. But she's okay. Oh, Milliver's gone sideways. She needs to empty. She's, she's got emptying. to empty out. Milliver's emptying. Hockley's slow. And this is all over. Door was half open for this her by Milliver having This is a single file uh, short lap. Superb work Chepe's from the Hungarian. Chepe's all the way. Even with her little stumble, she's got uh, distance. Look at the grin. It's all working out for her. 
It's a single file final lap. It's not what the fans want, that's for sure. And she's but it is what Chepe wants. She's got the one two away. Budget. Two away. I don't think they'll be closing that gap. If they are, it's still going to be super. They are, she is going to close the gap, I think. So if she does, it's still super hard to overtake. So I think this one is Chepe's. And Hockley just came up short on the final portage. Just because Could this be a next Van der Kisley? Poised to go in her career. And she's Ten strokes for her, nine, eight, seven. And the crowd puts its collective hands together to recognize your 2023 champion, Pana Tsepe. Great work from her. Second place goes to Milova. She was sixth last year. A good improvement. Sixth to second. Hundred percent right, Ivan. It's been a great performance from her. She's got plenty more bites of the cherry. Uh, as Saskia an under Hockley, 23. third last year, but in the juniors, straight up to third this year in the under 23s. It's not too shabby, is it? Really, it's pretty impressive. And. Uh,